I'm Dave Kaiser from CCX Media, joined by the Mayor of Plymouth, Jeff Washi. Welcome, Mayor. Thank you, Dave. Recently, you were the star in the Plymouth State of the City video, which hopefully many of you have seen. That was a overview of some of the great things happening in Plymouth, but there are three topics that we wanted to take a little bit deeper of a dive into with the mayor and hopefully give you some more information about these great facilities and what's coming up in the future. Let's begin with the Northwest Greenway, but as we talk about all of these, the thought is they all kind of have evolved together with some timing. Tell us about this 20, 25 year time that the Greenway, first of all, has happened and evolved. Right, so about around 2000 or so, uh, there was a bond referendum that took place and it was voted, approved on by the voters to, for, uh, uh, to have some money to go out and buy acreage on the northern, where it now is the Northwest Greenway. So as these parcels over the last 20 years have come up for sale, we've been purchasing together and stitching together this Northwest Greenway, which goes, it's 308 acres wide or long, and it also um, goes from not quite to 494 all the way almost to the western border of, of Plymouth. And certainly it connects a lot of the city to other parks and amenities that are currently in place. But the other part is it connects people to nature. Was that one of the main goals, not only to be active, but also be active in an area where you can see some beauty of Plymouth? Right, and that was the vision 20 plus years ago of, of the council and our, our park and rec staff was to create space that would never get developed. As they knew the northwest part is going to be developed so that preserving th over 300 acres of just open space, trees, where people can go and enjoy nature. One of the things that the city has done along with other facilities is you keep evolving and meeting the needs of what people are asking for. The challenge course I think does exactly that. Tell us about the use of the challenge course and what people specifically can do out there. Yeah, it's, it's more of like a ninja course type design. It's more balancing, there's netting, uh, it's meant for more 13 years and over, mm -hmm. not for young kids. And so it's just meant to um, challenge your dexterity somewhat, your balance, yeah. uh, and your ability to get through that whole challenge course. No, we'll so have it's a lot see, of fun. Have to see if the mayor and I can get up to the challenge. <laughs> Sounds like a challenge. Of yeah, it could be challenging. <laughs> Let's move on to the Plymouth Community Center and same thing yeah. as the first topic. Mm -hmm. Take us back. This has been talked about for some time in this community center was around about two decades ago, correct? Right, right. It got built about two decades ago. Uh, it was originally built to be a large ballroom, meeting rooms, and the black box theater. And of course, our Millennium Gardens is right there. Uh, so it was named Plymouth Creek Center because it wanted to be reflective of the nature and the wetlands and everything else around it. Uh, but that's changed now. Mm -hmm. And tell us about that name change that's coming and specifically the use that is changing. Yeah, and that's probably more, the name change is our Plymouth Community Center, but it's more reflective of what it's becoming. Mm -hmm. We're going to have two gymnasiums, uh, 7,000 square foot indoor playground, uh, a year-round walking track, and a bunch of fitness rooms that will be in there, and that's just phase one. You know, yesterday I was in the area and drove by it, and you, you'd be amazed at the progress that's happening at, that, at the community center there and how fast that's going up. We're going to be ready to open that phase one up this fall. Very exciting. It will indeed be the place in the community that everyone needs to go and visit. Final point, let's dive a little deeper into City Center 2.0 and same as our first two topics. Tell us about the age of this area and that first vision that maybe you're coming back to. Right, yeah. It was designed, City Center was designed kind of in the same time frame, the late 1990s, and it was meant to be this retail and shopping environment where you'd be create walkability. So you could park your car, and go to the different venues in, in, to um, do your shopping and your retail. But what it's turned into as it's developed parcel by parcel is we have stores and parking lots. Mm -hmm. And that walkability, original and vision never uh, happened. So what we're doing is what we're calling, again, City Center 2.0, where we've done a couple of studies. One is a community engagement, where we've gotten feedback from our, our residents in terms of what they would like to see there, and also uh, the design, how could we redesign it to create that walkability? My guess is this is a little different than the first two projects we talked about because this would be a partnership as I would understand it. So you need to work with developers and business owners. Tell me about that process and how that evolves to make a city center 2.0. Right, this is nothing the city can do in and of itself. 
we can do the, the ordinances, the zoning, and create those ingredients to make it available for that. But how do we bring vitality? How do we bring vibrancy back in there? How do we connect uh, Lifetime, the ICE Center, Hildy Center, and make that part of a whole neighborhood along with all the retail and shopping? So it's about creating that walkability, creating bikes so you can bike safely through there. Uh, and connecting all these. How do we create these more plaza type environments in community gathering spaces? You know, how can we get more restaurants to come in there and facilitate that? So just more of laying the groundwork to encourage developers to come in and do the work in that area. Now I know as a mayor you always love the time question of when will this happen, but this is something that doesn't happen overnight. This is going to be a process. Is that correct? Right. It's more looking back and saying 20 years ago here was the vision. What do we want the vision to be for the next 20 years? Mm -hmm. And so this isn't something that's gonna happen over the next couple of years. This is the long-term vision of what City Center could become. Well, Mayor, thank you so much for taking a few extra minutes to tell us a little bit more about some of these three major areas in the city. And again, as always, if you wanna find out more, go to PlymouthMN.gov. Thank you, Dave. Thank you.